Welcome to Missouri Earth Movers. Today's video is going to be a quick explanation on the Detroit Diesel two-stroke engine model codes. Now basically I have a few uh, examples listed here that you might see in uh, common trucks and earth moving equipment. You got a 453T, 6V71, 8V92T, and the uh, quite large 12V92. Now I'm going to go and basically explain to you what each of these numbers and each of these letters mean so that you can decode whatever engine you have in your machine and you can know exactly what you're looking at or if you're looking for an engine to put into a truck or an earth mover you're going to know, you know what engine would be good for that application. Alright, the first one I'm going to start out with is the simple series here and you're looking at, I uh, just used the 671 as an example here. Now basically the first number here is going to donate how many cylinders are in the engine. Now if there's no number or no letter I should say between the first number and the dash that is indicating it's a inline cylinder engine. For example this is a six cylinder inline engine. Then you'll see a dash and these last two numbers here are going to denote the displacement per cylinder. So basically in this engine uh, you're going to have 71 cubic inches per cylinder. Now this can be different as you can have a 6V53, a 6V71, or a 6V92. And those last two numbers are going to dictate how many uh, displacement per cylinder there. Okay moving on, the next engine uh, we're going to look at, and I'm using for an example, is the 8V92T. Now as with the 6V71, or I'm sorry, 671, uh, the first number is going to indicate the number of cylinders. This is the same on all of them. The second letter here is a V, is going to indicate a V-type engine. In this uh, instance it would be a V8, but if it'd be a 6V or a, a uh, or a 12V it'd be a you know, V12, V8, V6. Uh, then you're going to have your dash and then these next two numbers, as with all of the uh, Detroit diesel two-stroke engines, is going to be your cylinder displacement, uh, the displacement per cylinder. So in this case, you're looking at 92 cubic inches per cylinder, and this can be uh, 53. Uh, not at, well, in the larger engines, it's not going to be 53, but it's going to be uh, in the larger engines, you're looking at 71 or 92. But uh, just for example, and then this last letter here that you're going to see. And you can have an 8V71, 8V92, or as in this instance, 8V92T. And this last number here, the T, is going to stand for turbocharged. Now, uh, for all of you who don't know, all of the two-stroke Detroit diesel engines are supercharged. And this is because they're two-stroke, and the supercharger helps to scavenge the exhaust gas out of the cylinders. Because without the supercharger, these engines would not run properly at all. Uh, the turbocharger is added to basically boost the supercharger and add a lot more power on top of that. So uh, that about finishes it up for this um, this series uh, code here. Now there's um, a few other notations that are going to be added onto the engines as well, and I'll go over those in a second. All right, the last engines I'd like to talk about in the Detroit Diesel uh, two-stroke engine um, codes are going to be what they call the pancake engines or the horizontally opposed or under floor engines. Now basically the, the codes you're going to see for these are going to be a uh, 6L71 or 6N71 and basically they pretty much break down just like the 6V92 or the 453 or any of those. First number is going to be the number of cylinders Second number here, whether it's an L or an N, is going to dictate the horizontal engines. Then you're going to have your dash. Then you're going to have your 71 or 92. Most of these are going to be the uh, 6L or 6N71. And uh, that's your displacement per cylinder, just like all the other ones. And then whether or not it's a turbocharged engine, you're going to have a T after the displacement per cylinder or just nothing after that. So. That about wraps it up, guys, for most of the Detroit Diesel two-stroke engine codes. Uh, there are a few other specialties out there, but I'm pretty sure that I covered them all. 
you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me a personal message. I'll try to help you out. And as always, uh, please rate this video. And uh, if you haven't, come check out my channel and subscribe. Lots more videos to come. You guys have a great day.